Okay, so I put just a little bit of heat on this cylinder. In fact, it's still kind of warm. I started moving this thing back and forth. So it's moving back and forth. I'm about to pull it out. So see if you can hear listen for a when it comes out. And there you have the sound. Wow. Holy crap. This is a pretty well used engine here. That has got a lot of carbon on it. A lot of, a lot of carbon on there. Let's see if I can show you the inside here. That's going to need a little bit of clean up here. So, this moves fairly freely in there. I'm going to drop this directly into LA's Totally Awesome Cleaner for a little few minutes. Give it a bath. Even those Teflon discs are... A minute here before I do that. F1 disc is intact there. I want to see if I can't get those out first before I put them in this cleaner. I just have a little T pin here. I'm going to try and, and pry those out. Definitely don't want to lose those. them in the totally awesome cleaner so this piston ring a lot of the piston ring is stuck in the groove so I'll let that soak in there for a few minutes okay so just for reference this is what the LA's totally awesome cleaner looks like see it's pale yellow I just put fresh in this bin I don't know how many parts I'm gonna soak in it but let's see how when I soak parts in there, and you can tell that it's working, obviously it starts to turn brown. Very brown. Now as far as the inside of this goes, I actually want to pour a little bit in there. Just so I can kind of let that work on the bottoms of those valves. I'm just going to pour enough in there just to cover those valves up. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually pull the valves out of the engine or not kind of depends on how I can how well I can clean them up and if I can inspect the uh, shaft the shafts of them at all this pretty tight heated it up tapped on it a little bit no go didn't figure it would be now a trick I did the other day with an engine was I heated it up a lot, put a lot of oil on it, tapped on it, let it know I meant business. Then I put it in a Ziploc bag and I put it in the freezer overnight. And it seemed like the heating, the expansion and contraction of the metal really kind of helped uh, break the mechanical bonds free. So I'm probably going to employ that same technique here again. some oil in here. I'll probably go out and heat this up real hot again and I'll throw it in a bag. I'll let it cool down, throw it in a bag and put it in a put it in the freezer overnight and in the morning I'll put my battery terminal pullers on here and see if I can't just extract that real quick that way. That's probably about as far as I'm gonna get here today aside from maybe cleaning that piston up so okay it believed I meant business. It's all apart now. So what happened was I took it outside, man that's really hot, took it outside, I put my heat gun on the highest setting and I had already put oil in there and I really, really started creaming it with some heat. And then I just stood it up on a piece of wood and I put a Phillips head screwdriver in the tip of that, in that hole, and I just kind of tapped it couple times and it started to drop out and then of course this broke free and came out and then as far as this front washer as you or washer bearing as you can see like I said the rear bearing did come out with this and this pinion here obviously isn't willing to come off at this time either and there's a little collar here that actually acts as a spacer between 
crank in the front of the housing and the bearing. All of that's going to have to come off too. <coughs> but as far as getting this thing out, since I know I'm changing the bearings anyway, I just use my nut driver and just kind of this thing's really hot. I just put it on here and just boom, that thing popped right out. Now one thing that I notice about this that kind of sucks is obviously I'm going to replace the bearings. So I don't really care, but uh, whoever put these bearings in left shields on both sides and typically you don't do that on one of these engines. You want to remove one of the sides of the shields and the side that you've removed the shield from that exposes the race and the balls faces inside so it can get lubricated. This is a, a recipe for premature wear and destruction of a, of a bearing. Now you'll see on this there's no shields on either of these bearings and that's how that should be. Actually while this is still this hot I'm gonna go out and see if I can't nudge that bearing down. Okay this piston has been in here for a while so I'm gonna pull it out just start kind of wiping it down. Look at that. That's a totally, LA is totally awesome clean in there. Look at all the crap that was on the side of that piston. Now it's completely off. Let's see if it freed up that ring. That ring groove doesn't feel like it's completely freed up yet, but. Piston seems like moving in the ring now. Oh yeah, I can move it around in there. I think I might try and pull this ring off here real quick. Very carefully. Okay, there's the ring is off. You can see there's a lot of how that ring groove is completely dark. I'm going to use the side of the ring itself, kind of run it through here. Very gently do that so I don't they break the ring and screw the groove up. Drop that in some LA's totally awesome cleaner real quick, just the top of the piston. Alright, so our memory card filled up and <clears throat> I'm not really sure where it left off. But anyway, uh, I know I left off and I had this head filled with some LA's totally awesome cleaner. I let it sit in there for a few minutes and then I I took it off. I poured it into my container there and I wiped the valve faces down. I looked in the exhaust port here and I saw quite a bit of buildup on the exhaust valve stem so I decided to drop the valves out. So you can see the valves are out. They're soaking in totally awesome cleaner. Uh, when you get lucky, you get lucky, I guess. And I took the crankshaft out just to see if I could tap that rear bearing off and sure enough I was able to tap the rear bearing off and the pinion and the little collar all came off with it too and I'm just now removing it from some totally awesome cleaner bath and so it's cleaned up pretty decent now I'll probably get a piece of 1500 grit sandpaper saturated with a 3-in-1 oil and kind of dress that area up there a bit Take this. I haven't popped this collet out here yet, but I still need to do that too. Let's see if I can grab these other pieces out of here. So here's the pinion gear and the collar. They look like they cleaned up pretty well. Actually, real nice. And my two valves. I actually think I want to let those soak a little bit longer. But they came out on the magnet. So, 
this pinion gear will slide on here and engage in that with that uh, roll pin and then this collar just goes on here and it acts as just a spacer for the front bearing between the front bearing and the front of the case so amazingly this was very easy to come off so I'm very pleased I've already got some bearings for this thing on order so I won't be able to go too much further this thing was a mess this crankcase was a mess and I've got it all cleaned up now so uh, basically now it's just kind of a waiting game to see wait till my bearings come in